First time smartphone buyers, perhaps teenagers, grandmas and grandpas, they don't always need those quad core processors and US Cellular and ZTE realize that. How's it going guys, I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com and for that person in your life that doesn't need an HTC One or a Galaxy S4, US Cellular and ZTE have teamed up to create the ZTE Director. Now it's available now with a two year agreement for free at US Cellular and it's packing a one gigahertz processor, Android 4.0, and more. Let's take a look in the unboxing and see how this thing competes with other devices on the market. Look, I love my quad-core processors as much as you do, but there's still a use case in the market for a device like this. An entry-level Android device that's great maybe for a teenager or a young adult, for a smartphone or a grandma or grandpa, that is what US Cellular and ZTE believe at least. This is the ZTE Director, and according to them, there is a market for this, and I actually happen to believe them as well. There's a market for perhaps first-time smartphone buyers, teenagers, First smartphones or cell phones in general, this could be a nice device. And yes, specs wise, it's nothing to really shake a stick at. It's got a one gigahertz CPU, Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. It's got four gigabytes of built-in storage, a three megapixel camera, and a 1,500 milliamp hour battery. But at least on the website, it's free with a two year agreement. So a nice little entry level device from US Cellular. And keeping in mind, you know, we see so much from Samsung and LG and Motorola, ZTE, really not a big name in the US. Hopefully we can see more of that as time goes on. ZTE is actually based in Texas, in Richardson to be exact, and so hopefully we'll see some more. I speak uh, from my Dallas experience here, hoping we'll see more from them. So this is a ZTE Director, like I said, really a basic kind of mid-range device, 3.5 inch display here, so really small in comparison to the 5 inch display we're used to on the Galaxy S4, or the 4.7 inch display we're used to on the uh, HTC One. Before I get too far into that, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this and more for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, they'll make sure that they give you unbiased advice. You'll walk out with the carrier that works best for you and the device that works best for you at Best Buy Mobile. Also, special thanks to US Cellular for giving us a review unit. So, you've got your ZTE AC adapter module here, USB cable, nothing too exciting there in the box. You get a quick start guide, product safety and warranty information, and then the typical US Cellular disclaimer about Google Play. So we'll put all of this to the side for now and really power up the device and take a look at it. And it's decidedly a basic device. You've got three capacitive buttons down here, back, home, and recent applications, or menu I should say. And then down here, camera button on the right side, power button on the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top as you would expect, volume rocker over here, micro USB charging port, and then you've got your three megapixel camera with a flash on the back. Like I said, 1,500 milliamp hour battery here, as well an Android 4.0 running on this device. So again, low cost smartphone by every stretch of the imagination and the 3.5 inch display, kind of like on par with iPhone 4 and 4S, but still a lot of people that are tech nerds are gonna wanna go with something like the Galaxy S4 or even the Galaxy S3, something like that. This is still a great device for that person that's new to a smartphone. I could buy this for my grandma if she were in a US cellular coverage area. So starting up now, unlock, we're gonna long press it to unlock, and boom, shazam, there I go. So it's got kind of a stock version of Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich with some uh, basic, it looks like, see up here we've got some auto rotate sound, Wi-Fi data, some basic ZTE customizations on this device. So going to settings, for example, Wi-Fi, we'll go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off and then scroll up and down through here. And I'm not in the US cellular coverage area, Dallas is not, so it will be roaming. But you can see again, pretty stock build of Android all around here. Let's go into messaging and take a look at the keyboard. 3.5 inch display, and then there is the keyboard. It's a very tiny keyboard in comparison to something like a Galaxy Note 2, for example. Look how huge that display is in comparison. So, depends on what you want and what works best for you, or perhaps for that person you're buying the smartphone for, but overall, Relatively responsive, not gonna be the fastest phone in the market by any stretch of the imagination. Let's go ahead and turn Wi-Fi, or get that notification away. Go ahead and get the US cellular message away, and then we can see Android keyboard, Google voice typing, and swipe out of the box. So, a very low resolution display here at 3.5 inches, nothing too amazing by any stretch of the imagination. And then this was available on April 12th, or as of April 12th, I should say. So you can buy this right now in US cellular stores. Out of the box, you get Amazon, Amazon MP3 App Store. You get some backup and restore stuff. Bubble Bash 2, lots of pre-installed stuff out of the box here. Audible, daily perks from US cellular, City ID as well. And then you get, oops, scroll across, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, back to the beginning. 
daily perks, and then you go through here and see my easy access. You get a music, a customized music icon. That's a ZTE thing, but customized music icon, as you can see. I'm gonna bring this a little closer to the camera so you can take a look with me at the icons here. You got sound recorder, top games, task manager. It's nice to get that out of the box, and then US Cellular's Tone Room Deluxe right here. Wi-Fi Now, your navigator, which is essentially a US Cellular branded version of Telenav. So quite a few US Cellular applications out of the box. Let's see if we can remove those. I know we can disable them, but let's see if we can remove those. And let's see, downloaded, daily perks. Let's see if we can uninstall daily perks, for example. That's probably the most, actually US Cellular's applications are pretty useful. That's probably the only annoying one that I find in daily perks. And boom, it looks to be gone. Let's take a look here and see if daily perks, yep, and it is gone. So you got all your applications up here and you can organize those by time, by top hit, by alphabetic, and then edit over here. And I can move those around as I see fit or delete those as I see fit if they have an X. And then here are my widgets that I can add to my home screen. So again, some customizations as you can see from the stock Android shell. This is not stock ice cream sandwich, some very minor ZTE customizations as you can see. And then just taking a look at my system settings, Let's go back down through here and take a look at display, brightness, sleep, font size, the usual stuff that you would expect. Let's take a look at the wallpapers on this device and see. You know you get an exciting device in your hands when you're looking at the wallpapers in an unboxing video. Some pretty decent wallpapers all around. That one looks really colorful. Let's go ahead and switch it out to that one. And again, you know, really low resolution display all across the board, but you do get the shortcuts up here at top, which are nice. Auto rotate sound, Wi-Fi data, sync, airplane mode. I think it's one word, airplane mode. Airplane mode, all one word, brightness and more. So that's kind of funny actually. And then I can turn that on and off, but you can see again, kind of a laggy device in comparison to what we're used to, the high-end devices, but still perhaps a good use case, or perhaps it's not. I'd love to hear from you. Phone dog underscore Aaron on Twitter. We're gonna do a lot more with this device on the site at phone dog.com. Let me know if you think there's a use case for this, be it for your mom, for your grandma, for your grandpa, for your significant other, or do you think you should splurge and spend 49 or $99 and get maybe a Galaxy S3 or an older HTC device like HTC One X or One X Plus? Let me know at phone dog underscore Aaron on Twitter, Facebook, facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker, Google plus G plus dot TO slash phone dog. Much more to come on the ZTE director and US cellular service in general on phone dog.com. Keep it locked right here on the YouTube channel and on the site. And as always, I'll see you next time.